connected core banking uh, section which we are running right now is patrick fan founder and ceo b novelty and he will be talking about con connecting enterprises and startups for open api innovation so welcome okay, hello yeah can you hear me yes we can hear you okay. fine we can also see your screen so all okay everything is set for you for you okay thank you so i will get started okay so um, I am Patrick Fan from uh, Hong Kong. Um, I think today's talk, uh, I will be talking more uh, on from the API community or enabler perspective. Uh, I'm also one of the uh, API Days Hong Kong organizers. So we will have uh, another section actually in October. So today I, I will share about our experience when helping different enterprises and also start to connect to, to each other for business innovation. And honestly, we are working beyond banks. We are also working with uh, regulated, regulated uh, enterprises, including insurance or even healthcare provider, et cetera. So our experience is covered a uh, different kind of industry. But um, yeah, OK, so the next slide. OK, so let me share about the, what we think about the catalyst of the open API business first, because uh, in the past two years, especially uh, in Hong Kong, we are also pushing forward to the open banking initiative. So some of the banks come to us and then say, oh, Patrick, why, why we need to open up our APIs and why we need to collaborate? So we basically um, try to conclude four different perspectives that we think uh, why the trend is now moving, moving forward. One, of course, is a regulatory push. So um, I think same as Singapore and also Hong Kong, we got some regulatory push talking about the open market. We do need to um, uh, try to combine uh, some of the requirement uh, for the regulatory. So this is a push force. But um, be beyond that, we also can see there are also increasing competition from different tech company. So it was uh, they may not be uh, in the banking industry or finance industry previously, but uh, with their tech capability and also their influence, they actually come to uh, work and potentially collaborate or even compete with the banks. So a uh, lot of days, uh, banks uh, also want to have some open uh, attitude to work with them for a better uh, and larger market. And the third one is uh, with the reference five years of the uh, uh, evolution of mobile app or web app, et cetera, uh, I believe that low single company can build an app with the perfect experience for different sector, different age group. So uh, we can see the increasing pressure to uh, for, for a company to have different kind of interfaces to tap into their channel. So um, one of the trends that the bank is trying to embed their banking as a service in different channels, maybe built by themselves, built by their partner, et cetera. So this is the third point of view. And the fourth one, the fourth, uh, the fourth one is uh, just us, uh, all of us experiencing due to the, co uh, the COVID-19, uh, we can see some traditional channel is no longer working. For example, the physical channel. So it's increasing uh, leads, talking about the uh, open API app innovations with different parties. And uh, we, just a bit of uh, introduction of what uh, our team is actually doing. So we uh, we help different kind of uh, company, especially the regulated uh, company to discuss business API. So we help them to source and then find the, the correct and uh, some uh, good quality API for them. So we pay a lot of attention on the regulatory and also how to verify they are uh, reliable, et cetera. We also helping to reduce the business and technology gap with our platform and with our reusable assets to help regulated uh, enterprise for and start for the API collaborations. We also helped uh, some banks and insurance for their API strategy and campaign for open API innovations. And uh, today in this talk, uh, we want to share our lesson learned from uh, the major three experience to be one of the largest API community in Hong Kong to one different kind of campaign in different set as said, we want uh, API campaign for banks, for uh, hotel and tourism, even though healthcare, et cetera. And also we also um, contribute to one of the Hong Kong sub registration scheme to help start up to feel, fulfill some common baseline or requirement when they need to connect to record, uh, regulated enterprises. So uh, I, I want to have a quick recap, uh, just in case some of the audience may not know, about the current status of the Open API framework in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, Hong Kong is doing a four-phase approach. Currently, we have already finished the phase two. 
So uh, you can imagine that in the first one, uh, phase one and two, it may be some uh, easier API, for example, some port information, also lead generation, et cetera. While we are moving to the uh, phase three and four, talk about um, to get the account uh, information, to uh, handle the consensus, and even make the transactions. Uh, this is talking about the reader ranking. Uh, but I will also share that uh, we uh, we can we have also got some experience talking about the business banking. So uh, this is happening uh, very actively right now in Hong Kong. Um, we 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 try to uh, with our experience to connect the banks and also the staff. We want to conclude some of the banks' concern because we think that uh, if talking about open API innovation, we need to understand from both both sides perspective, the banks and staff. So um, in, uh, uh, from our experience, banks also talk to us. Oh, Patrick, can you refer some good stuff to us and, and form some API innovations? Uh, we, we would say that uh, the banks need to understand from the staff or third party provider perspective, and even from the uh, third party provider or staff, they need to understand the concern from the bank, uh, bank's perspective so that they can prepare ahead. Um, from our experience, uh, the banks, quite concerned and also need to spend some effort on the API onboarding. So they, they have limited um, exposure or limited visibility on third parties. So if you are assessing some uh, API that has, uh, assess the core information, they need to verify or even do a due diligence of their companies. Uh, on, on the other hand, even though uh, the bank do the onboarding, they still need to uh, help to do the ongoing monitoring to ensure that um, the API is consumed uh, properly. Unlike previously, everything is happening in the banks. They got a very good uh, monitoring and process to ensure everything is uh, going as expected. But when some data is uh, trans tran uh, transferred out of the banks, how can we ensure that? And how can we uh, uh, gain the trust from the bank on that one? And of course, the third one is some contractual engagement. So how exactly the scope that the banks and the sub need to form and so that's to um, uh, to do the risk space uh, assessment, what kind of API we need to expose to them. Uh, we also try to um, conclude the, uh, this kind of uh, perspective uh, uh, in, in this seven perspective. So when, when the banks, they need to understand the, the sub, sub need to, uh, provide some of their information so that they can gain the trust. One, of course, this is a part of information. This is talking about the sub. Um, uh, this is one of the critical factor we can see that um, create a barrier when staff need to co uh, connect to the banks is, okay, how long is the your, 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 your company history? And is you have uh, some important uh, people, just like the CSO, the security officer, uh, handling with the, with the enough experience to handle the, the data from the banks. So the, the sub actually need to uh, prepare ahead. Uh, the second one is talking about the governance and also the waste management policy. Uh, what the banks uh, want to know is not, uh, they, they are actually not requiring the, the same uh, 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 requirement in, uh, from the internal banks, but also some uh, awareness and also the, the preventive measure, how the third party can handle the, the risk management perspectives. And uh, the third one, of course, is the technology risk and cybersecurity risk. Um, we have most of the enterprise, not, uh, including the banks, they are very worrying about the data leakage, how exactly uh, you are managing the data, how you can protect your client information, et cetera. So the sub lead to, especially you are assessing, or we will say the phase three API, talking about the account information, you need to have a very uh, clear and uh, strict uh, uh, process to come uh, to convince the banks so that you have the, uh, uh, the, cons uh, the, the knowledge to manage them. And the fourth one is the data protections. Uh, especially, I think um, uh, uh, in, in different regions, there are different po data protection rules. And uh, in, in, uh, if talking about, uh, if you have some audience actually from the Euro, we need to handle the GDPR. Uh, we, in Hong Kong, we also got the DPDO. So this is uh, something that um, the, the third party really need to express their own awareness on this one and, come, uh, and actually make the bank convincing. And the last uh, three is uh, most of the, uh, are actually the points that most of the, the staff of third party uh, is overlooked is talking about long technical thing. This is how they are trying to handle their customer care and also the business practice. Um, because the bank, you are using the bank services. 
So um, if the staff or third party is consuming the bank's services and also providing the similar services to a client, they are actually on behalf of the banks. So uh, the, the banks or the enterprise is very, um, have, have, have very high requirement on how can you uh, ha help them to build a, a solid and reliable uh, brandings. And of course, the business continuity. Uh, you need to have a very uh, solid business continuity to ensure that uh, you got, got your uh, exit plan and also how to prevent that your service will be interrupted uh, by some uh, uncertain uh, er uh, uh, uncertainties. Okay, so uh, this is a, a, a very common uh, situation we can see from the banks and stuff. So as I said, from, from the banks or enterprise perspective, they generally requiring a higher standard. Okay, you need to ensure that um, the, the data progression is in a high standard, et cetera. And then you need to do a, a very con conservative uh, approach, et cetera, so that they can protect the bank benefit. But this is quite contradicting to the, the, the staff or the, the third parties because they are generally having uh, uh, limited resources. They are having a, a more, a, a general quicker time to market. So they are, uh, relatively cannot invest too much uh, on the uh, regulations or, or the compliance, then how can we actually uh, get the win-win situations? So they are actually having just uh, pull the, the pole and then they are uh, trying to uh, fight with each, each other. And then when we are talking about the open API collaboration, we want to ensure that this is a uh, win-win win-win situations. Uh, this is a very common uh, uh, discussion point when we are doing some consultancy or talk to some bank executive because they think that they are, are providing a very unique services to the third party. Uh, how 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 why why we we should uh, collaborate with others? Um, and it, uh, if it is the cases, if the banks is uh, winning most of the, the, the situation, then uh, you cannot attract and form a very healthy collaborations. So with uh, as said in the earlier in the in the early presentations, uh, with the help of the third party sub, uh, it is trying to uh, increasing the, the touch base of the kind and they are trying to compete. The, the missing gap of your maybe customer experience, etc. So if we can reach in a, a win-win situations, uh, the, the effect can be amplified. And uh, another thing that I want to highlight from our previous two years experience is that um, most of the banks or, or maybe from the financial institution, they are very experienced in uh, handling uh, those parties in the same sector. But uh, in the past six months, we can see most of the uh, uh, strong collaborations that is forming, especially in Hong Kong, is from other sector, just like maybe food delivery. They are, this is getting an increasing demand of uh, how the banks can help to do the automations that, uh, in the banking and also account reconciliation, et cetera. So when, when the banks need to talk to different sector, they need to be uh, uh, very open-minded and also from the, uh, the other sector, when they talk to the bank, they need to prepare ahead and so that they can also talk in the same language. So we can see that uh, different sector, especially if you are doing the business banking perspective, uh, you may need to talk to different uh, people with different cultural uh, experience. Uh, when we are forming those uh, open API collaboration, here is some uh, common uh, issues that we can find uh, in the local perspective. And we said that uh, maybe we need to have a better sub experience. Uh, the first one is uh, the, the, the response time. This is not talking about the technical response time. It's talking about when, the, when they stop, they need to uh, communicate with the banks. How can they reach uh, the correct people in the most effective way? Uh, uh, it is talking about how they can form the collaboration easier. Uh, the second point is uh, due to the uh, most of the uh, uh, local banks we can see and also regional banks, they require very complicated uh, approval process. And then uh, before uh, the, the start of the technical solution, they can get in touch and start their MVP. Uh, it is one of the uh, major uh, factor we can see that um, delaying the entire innovation uh, process. So uh, how to uh, how how to make the process simpler or also make it as a sort of tier based approach? Uh, this is another thing that uh, we are working with some of the banks uh, for the advice. And uh, the third one is uh, quite uh, to some of some uh, maybe some small or low uh, small or medium banks. We can see that uh, they may lot they, they may lack of some sandbox environment for the for the sub and the the 
third party company to do, do their uh, own trial, et cetera, before they're launching the production. And it creates a chicken and egg problem that uh, they do not have the uh, actual environment that they can uh, manage at a uh, pilot one. And then uh, due to the, um, the risk based assessment, so it's very difficult for uh, those uh, uh, startup company to collaborate with those uh, small and medium bank without the sandbox. And uh, the fourth one is talking about the, the document, documentations. So uh, uh, most of the technology stuff, they are mainly driven by the developers. And uh, we can also still find uh, quite, a, quite a lot of uh, the banks, they are using the traditional word or PDF uh, to communicate with the sub uh, developers. And then it's create a very uh, longer uh, turn at one time when they're working with them. So uh, this one of the example that we, we, we are generally recommend is during the API portal to, to help them to communicate the different version of the API. And then so that the, the staff can um, actually working with their banks for uh, for different kind of uh, MVP development. And the, the I think I, I would like to hi highlight the second uh, second uh, one is that the last second one is the progressive guideline. So uh, in Hong Kong, we have actually got something called the common baseline uh, that have the seven perspective that uh, to suggest the the staff to connect to event they need to fulfill. But we can also see that uh, in most of the, the sub, especially there are a lot from the financial perspective, uh, the finance, financial services perspective, uh, they may have difficulties to uh, to actually meeting the guidelines. But is it uh, what we want to make a huge barrier for them to uh, lock forming the collaboration? Most likely when we talk to the bank, they, the, the answer is no. So we generally suggest that uh, we can work with some progressive guideline to provide some uh, more simple uh, recommendations so that we can enable the staff to, to do the business case uh, validation first. And the last is talking about the, the trial plan. Uh, even though um, maybe the banks may not be just like doing uh, uh, API business uh, 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 monetization, but uh, we can also see that uh, with a trial plan, given a limited uh, API uh, uh, core, et cetera, it's very useful and useful for this, uh, for the innovators to help them to uh, formulate their own business. Okay, so we would like to conclude that uh, the three common goal that uh, we generally can uh, see the banks and also the staff is talking about, they want to identify the new uh, valuable collaboration use case. Most likely the use case uh, a lot happen in the banks. So uh, we should reduce the barrier between the parties so that they can identify the new collaboration areas and how to ensure that the MVP can be uh, launching easier uh, with uh, a better market validations. Uh, this is the second goal. And the third one is um, most likely if we discover the uh, new business model, uh, generally the, the banks will be doing the risk-based approach. So how can we leverage the collaborations and uh, maybe a smaller uh, a bank collaboration so that we can identify the risk earlier and then uh, we solve the potential risk. This is another common goal. So uh, we actually have a reference case that we are working with one, one of the largest bank and technology ecosystem in Hong Kong for the open API innovations. We help them to open up uh, one up to 130 banks API for 30 uh, technology sub I want the world for the business innovation. Uh, is it still happening? So uh, this is some of the common uh, uh, challenges and issues we can find uh, from, from, the, from the experience. This is uh, actually more than the traditional banks and also the enterprise, et cetera. So uh, if you are interested to know more about uh, the others, maybe the Hong Kong community, et cetera, uh, feel free to uh, approach me and then we can work more and then share more the details on, uh, on the local space, especially in the API uh, community in Hong Kong. Okay. I think that's all for, for my quick uh, sharing, talking about the uh, local API community, uh, community perspective. So uh, if you have any question, feel free to wish me out. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot, Patrick, for that amazing session. And we do have a couple of minutes left. And what I would like to do, if, if you can also elaborate how you are building community, especially around Hong Kong, which I think sounds really interesting uh, because from my own personal experience uh, perspective as well. So I love to create and build community uh, both at the local and global level. And I think 
many of the professionals are really eager and interested uh, to become a part of the community and also create community as well. So if we can share some of uh, that kind of guidance, which would be helpful for them as well. Okay, so uh, when, when we are doing the local uh, API community, actually we are doing in four perspectives. One, uh, we as a, a community enabler, we work with the local uh, uh, technology ecosystem. We help to, one, one of the, uh, the common issue we can see is that there's so many uh, different kind of the technology stuff. They want to connect to the enterprise, I would say. Uh, and but uh, to the enterprise, they will also see that uh, there may be too many uh, companies not try to lock their door. They don't know who uh, who of those staff is actually up to the quality. So uh, they, it make them a bit difficult for them to uh, shortlist or identify some uh, good quality staff. So we may uh, we mainly work with some uh, uh, third body so that we actually um, try to build up some reference guideline and then we do a, a registration scheme so that uh, we can help some of the sub to differentiate and also uh, to, to show to the enterprise, they have already got the uh, basic uh, awareness on the six uh, perspective we, we share, so that um, it, they, they have the ticket that can uh, uh, start collaborating with the, with, the, with the enterprise. So this is the first one. So once they got that, and then they with a, a, a relative uh, better, uh, uh, maybe business idea, the banks or the enterprise, they can work, work with them and then ensure that they are not only uh, purely with the idea, but also with the execution uh, power. And then we will link them up and then do the uh, business uh, innovation with the MVP. And then we also try to help them uh, to suggest the banks, uh, they, they can actually take their uh, business idea and also help them to pull, uh, prioritize their internal core development. Even the banks maybe have a lot, uh, more developer resources, they still have a lot of things to do, just like they may have uh, up to hundreds API they, they want to do. So we, we can prioritize the API backlogs and then collaborate with those uh, uh, companies. And it also helps the company to, be, uh, to build up the early stage uh, loyalty with them. So this is basically how we, we try to work with the enterprise. And uh, one thing I want to highlight is that, uh, as I said, we, we are doing core sector uh, uh, community. So we mainly work with uh, some key anchor partner with different uh, end, uh, se sector. They are actually understand the business use case with they, within that industry, just like uh, food delivery, the, the, uh, the healthcare, et cetera. So to ensure the domain is uh, really uh, up to uh, standard. Thanks for answering that, uh, Patrick. And I think that kind of guidance really help, specifically once you are in that part of journey or either are presenting something specifically to your leadership. So I really appreciate that kind of input. The other question which I wanted to ask, since you mentioned both from the enterprise and startup perspective and talking mm. about the API innovation. So if you have to talk about the biggest challenge vis-a-vis -vis mm. from the enterprise perspective or from the mm. startup perspective, that comes uh, when talk about the innovation across the APIs or adoption as such. Okay, okay. So uh, talking about the, maybe I, I will try to explain uh, in, in enterprise perspective first. One, uh, I think enterprise, they will have uh, generally uh, more resources. They want to work multiple uh, uh, staff, et cetera, uh, together. But uh, one of the issues we can see is that um, uh, at, at most of the enterprises with the uh, business case-driven approach. For example, they need to do their own internal business cases and then try to get the approval and then get their, uh, their development resources or policy resources to moving forward. Uh, and this is relatively uh, uh, lower, uh, slower uh, compared to other, other approach. So uh, what we suggest uh, them is that uh, we can actually, instead of uh, doing a, a, a very streamlined, a, 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 I would say we can do an a parallel approach so we can have the business cases verified first. And then with the MVP, they can come to come back to the team as a, a solid uh, reference cases instead of a pure proposal. So uh, I think uh, talking about some, uh, just like uh, in Hong Kong, some of the cases uh, to the bank is quite new. So they may have difficulty to work out with some figures or metrics uh, to, to, to create the business cases. So the most uh, solid approach is have a pilot case with the, uh, the staff as a, uh, as a solid reference to convene the internal team to do the, uh, the, the arrangement. So this is from the enterprise perspective. While from the staff perspective, uh, they are generally more uh, passionate people. And then their difficulties is talking about the, the, the support 
and how to get through the enterprise procurement process, et cetera, and how to communicate with the enterprise languages. So um, uh, given that uh, if the, 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 the community or if the banks can provide some key uh, instruction to them, this is uh, very helpful. So uh, in Hong Kong, we, we already got some experience that we can shorten maybe some of the turnout one time from six to last month to two weeks. So uh, I, we would say that um, uh, from the staff perspective, they are technical, but they may need some help to uh, on, on the enterprise communications. Right, yeah. And thanks a lot again, Patrick, for answering that. And it seems like our next speaker is yet to join. So I okay, believe we have more time to hang out together and discuss this discussion forward as well, because okay. I'm really loving the conversation here uh, based on all the insights which you have shared. And since we're talking about the innovation in APIs, and it is it is an evolving space, and you know it more than anyone uh, with respect to the insights which you have shared. So down the line, uh, if I talk about the innovation, what do you think from uh, a year perspective would be uh, the uh, a roadmap around the API's innovation, if you can just share briefly. Yep, thank you. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.